Welcome back. Let's play some more 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Every time there's one detail, somehow I forget. Good luck. So I was watching some games yesterday and I had some ideas. So we might try some ideas today. I'm not claiming to be the ideas expert, but, you know, if these ideas work for other folks, why can't they work for me? Um, What's the bishop doing here? Nope. Maybe. I don't know. It's interesting. Somehow. It's fun giving the beginner a beat down at Static Rook. I, uh, yeah. Everybody's got to start somewhere. I could imagine that bringing back memories of having been on the other side of that arrangement. Yeah, like you're saying. All right, did I set? Yeah, I captured my overlay correctly. All right. Um. So, I think, maybe I've tried this opening once or twice on 81 Dojo. I don't remember having tried it on Shogi Wars before. But maybe I did try it and I just, it went so poorly that I don't remember it. In any event, it seems that I've picked up this opening from having watched it way too much. Um, it seems like an interesting opening. Wait, wait, if I drop that here, the silver retreats. This is not one yet. I haven't even had to use the bishop here. Like, it's lined up ready to go, but I've not had to use it. Oh, interesting. I missed this. 
Now, is this so interesting? It protects a pawn, but the bishop itself is somewhat of a target here. Um, no, actually, that's very much a target. Let's go win it. Nanafun. Oh, I can't drop the pawn here. Just kidding. Um, okay. That didn't work the way I thought. Uh huh. The opponent might drop a rook here. It's not clear to me what I should be doing here. Um, well, I could promote. It doesn't do anything. Um... This looks interesting. Yes, it traps my rook, but uh, it's fine. So now my opponent has two rooks. Okay. That's resourceful. I saw this much, but I didn't see what happens next. I think they have to do dragon take silver. Because this way I get the dragon for a bishop. And sure, stuff happens and continues to happen, but a dragon could be useful for me here. Maybe they protect the rook with another rook. I can't exactly cut the line here. Hmm. On the other hand, if they drop a rook, maybe I do bishop takes pawn. They could also like try to drop a piece here, I take it, instead of taking the dragon. And we'll see where we end up. But yeah, my, our opponent's done a very good job defending against a bishop drop. I'm not sure they'll be able to defend equally well against a rook drop. But it's going to be very difficult for me to drop my pieces in any event. My rook sacrifice might have been premature. I don't know. Gofun. Hmm. 
Hmm. Not what I... Well, I don't know what I expected, but... I debated promoting this pawn immediately, but that looks a bit much. So, I think this is the way to go. Maybe I had a rook drop and take here, but that looks too risky. Okay, oh, that's a fork. Well spotted. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you get away with this. It's interesting. I'm perhaps lost, but maybe not. <laughs> but yeah, I sped up my opponent's attack when I was trying to slow it down. Common pattern on this channel. Um, that's a good defensive move. Again, well spotted. There is a yin and a yang to it, because I can attack this bishop um, more than one way. But that did gain a tempo to defend this square, and maybe defend here somehow. So we've made things confusing for both of us. Okay. Yeah, it's going to hurt. Um... Something. <clears throat> um... Let's just be brave here. And assume it's all fine. Oh, I just hung this pawn with check. It's no good. Um, this is a disaster. Interesting. All right, I've lost. There's no escaping my fate here. Um, mm hmm. Hmm. Like, that's desperate. That just shows how, like, if I'm forced to do that, I'm in deep doo doo. And I think I'm forced to do that. So.
This is just begging for a blunder, which will not come. Or which is, at least is extraordinarily unlikely, but we have to try for it anyway. That's the best case scenario, actually. I've defended my knight, the knight defends the king's head, and this turn I'm not in check. Um, even in that best case scenario, it's still pretty hopeless, but... It's not entirely hopeless here. Ah, there it is. Yep, I missed that. Thanks for the game. One down, two to go. What's our next proverb? Good luck. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Well, we tried that today. We'll try it again some other day. I've not given up on it yet. Alright, you know what? I have been curious about this. Uh, what's the best move order? Do I push this immediately? It would help to know this. I think we push this. And defend this point, and then we're free to do stuff. Um, I forget how this works. Despite having been repeatedly taught about the matter, I just, I don't know. It's not in my memory. Um, all right. What's our next proverb? A check is a chasing move. Well, let's take that to heart. So, the opponent's king is still on its original square. Um, okay. I debated going back here. Alright, you know, I'll just castle. So... Yeah, this is deeply concerning. Okay. I did not expect that. Um... Wow. Some of us like playing with fire. I'm one of those folks, but uh, that's a bit much. Can I not win the game outright here? I guess not.
And if I push, if they take, if I drop again, if they take, stuff gets mad. Uh, my king is not safe. I can't embark on crazy stuff, despite this being hanging. All right, now they block the bishop. That's even worse, honestly. Um, it does prevent tactics, but I guess that's a way to transition your castle. So you have stopped me from exercising tactics here, but at the cost of having none of your own. And I guess I've done the same. Okay. Yeah, that's something. So they're going to attack over here. Um, I'm going to open my bishop diagonal here. I'll open the diagonal for my bishop. There, I can speak English. I should have put dropped a pawn here first, though. Um, it's uh, I've very thoroughly confused myself. This is no good. Oh, uh, the bishop's blocked. Oh, I lucked out. I thought they pushed the other pawn. I'd be screwed if this were pushed. Um, well... I'm sorry, if this were pushed and the silver were one square forward, this would be very, very difficult to try to defend against. Alright, I'm going to make another home for my bishop. They stopped that. That's fine. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I thought I read this out. I have one pawn in hand. This is no good. This is a loss. I just... Oh, well. Um, I'm sorry, this is a loss of material. I'm going to get some initiative, but it's not going to be enough. I needed to drop the pawn here. I thought the silver had to be up here, but it doesn't. They could just push this immediately, and I have no defense. Well, no, if they push it again... I mean, they... It's a mess, but... What I've been trying to gear up toward doing is moving the knight out and dropping a pawn here. I think I'm finally in a position to do that. But it doesn't have any benefit. It looks cool. But I have no way of collecting this pawn once they push it and the bishop's defending it. Um. Well, no, there is one benefit. And that's that it shuts out the opposing silver, so it can't do anything aggressive, so I don't have to push the edge pawn to resist the silver. It's like saves half a move for me to do it this way. Um, that if this is pushed and if I drop, now suddenly this guy can't attack me directly. Um, it would be fantastic if I could remove this outright, even though I can't. But no, I could push the silver up, push this, they take, and then I could take this pawn, and they push, and I take, and it's a mess. Yes, yeah, so this prevents the silver from advancing either direction forward. The knight's head is a bit of a target, to say the least. Um, 
but it's fine. If I say it's fine, it's fine. I built a castle. My king is exposed on this diagonal for one turn, but... <sighs> yeah, I don't play opposing rook frequently. Okay, yeah, they're continuing this idea as they should. Um... That was the downside of my idea, is that I don't have a way to easily break this. Uh -huh. I blocked my bishop the other direction, so let's try it this way. And then I could drop the rook back to avoid... Well, why am I avoiding? I don't know. It's flexible. I might bring the uh, lance up and the rook behind the lance. I won't, but I could. I don't know what else I could do, though. I guess we're both learning this game together. It's not an easy game. I'm sure I've done worse things than... I mean, I've hung a bishop in the opening before. It, it sucks to hang a piece like that in the middle of the game. When there was already quite an exciting game going. Um, it sucks to have everything dashed just like that. But such as war. Um, Yeah, they expose this bishop so that I can't easily grab the pawn and promote. I might still eventually be able to take this, but this turn I can't. Um... So... I'm not sure where I'm going here. This rook is floating, so I think... I mean, it's easy to generate this move, but what to do next is the hard part. I do kind of want to push this, but not really. Back we go. Well, now I definitely want to push this, don't I? In two moves, I could have another general and then drop another pawn and just... Yeah. Lots of generals here could happen. Um, plus, this allows my rook to promote. Hmm. Yeah, as much as it would be fun to play around in this position and do things that 
don't have much impact. Um, I need to focus. Sampun. So I defend against this pawn advance. Um, although maybe I should have moved the gold instead to deal with that. I don't know. I have to be very careful about peace exchanges here. Um, interesting. Just as I say that, here I am. Yeah. All right, we're going to go after the king. We hit this gold, we hit this gold, and this gold is aligned with the king. I'm not so afraid of losing this rook anymore or other things happening as long as my king is safe. Right, so they invest this silver that I just gave them, and that's the piece I was most concerned about. Um, And now I'm in time pressure. Well, damn. Hmm. 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 Maybe I should have taken... No, it doesn't matter. Gold up doesn't do anything here. Um... Nope, not that one. This one.
一分Overkill. Thanks for the game. Two down, one to go. Good luck. This is a bit surprising. Either I'm extremely dead and I just have no idea what I'm doing, or what I'm doing is legit. A surprise will come when we open the loot crate and find out. That looks absolutely mad. Um, hmm. Okay, let's try this. How badly can it go, right? But uh, everything's hanging, so I don't think this is going to end poorly for me. The silver's loose, the rook's loose, there's places I could drop a bishop back here if I wanted, but I don't need that. 
because if we exchange bishops here, the knight takes, I drop the bishop here, I win the silver or win the knight, and then can shut down this attack, run my king away, etc. Like, I've done something provocative here, but I don't know. Seems playable. It seems like I've built a castle, and I don't know what this is. That's just my take on the situation. Our opponent takes time. So, yeah, recently I was watching, there was, well, there's only so much I can say. Okay, never mind. Yeah, the opponent pursues their attack. Uh, if I take, rook takes, pawn drop, nothing's happening. If I take the silver advances, I exchange here, their silver continues advancing. So that's a bit dangerous. Um, all right, so we'll remove this attacker. And then we'll retreat. And then there is my classic bishop 5 5 drop that I do ever so frequently. Thanks, Steve. What a series. What a show. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.